Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Sequoia National Park. I wanted to show you something that I thought was really cool. Even when I was coming up here at 8, 10, 12 years old, I always remembered this. And I want to put it into perspective. When I was talking about the General Sherman tree and how shallow the root systems are and all that other good stuff, um, there's a tree on the way to Crescent Meadow, which is our last stop and I have something special planned so I'll put that in my last video <laughs> anyway what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it put into perspective the root structure of a giant sequoia now remember they only go down about five to eight feet because up here in the Sierra Nevada anything deeper than that sorry little bugs is um, is granite so I'm gonna turn the camera around and I want to show you a fallen giant sequoia in the root structure. Now, to put this into perspective, that is the center of the tree, or the heartwood. So what we're gonna see here, and I have to step off the road, is half of the tree. Okay? So the center of the tree being right there, so you can imagine the total circumference of this underground. I'm going to have my son bring my car up and park it to give you guys just a little idea of how big that system is. That car is 19 feet long and about 4 feet high. And there's the top of half of the circumference of that root system. You can see just exactly how big that is. So, again, these trees are amazing. And I know I've done a lot of videos on the giant sequoias and Sequoia National Park. But then again, it's Sequoia National Park. Hence the uh, giant sequoia trees behind me, which is massive. So, sorry, there are a lot of insects. It's... Uh, Getting close to sunset and probably got about an hour. But anyway, I just wanted to put it into perspective a little bit. I thought that was kind of a neat way to do it, was to put something in the foreground to let you know just exactly how massive these trees are and how delicate they can be. So, as always, be safe, be professional, keep it real. When you're in the parks, drive slow. You don't want to miss anything. They're absolutely beautiful. Always stay on a marked path. Let a park leave a footprint on your heart and the hearts of your kids and their grandkids and our future generations. Don't leave a mark on the park. If you pack it in, pack it out. These parks will be here for a long time if we take care of them. So thank you for watching. I wish you all the best of health. Until next time.